Hi there, in this video cast I'm going to show you um, a very basic way to use an interactive whiteboard. In fact, it's probably not a very good way to use an interactive whiteboard at all. Um, the idea was to take an interactive whiteboard one step from a normal uh, whiteboard in that we're just going to simply use it to write things on it. And it's also going to be there just to show how the interactive whiteboard can be used to revise uh, things back for those moments where a child says I'm stuck and you go um, where were you stuck and they can easily pinpoint uh, where they were at and as I said it's not using the interactive whiteboard for anything particularly amazing but it might just be useful for anyone who's uh, looking at it we're going to use a uh, long multiplication for this one and just showing the traditional way of doing long multiplication and showing how we can use an interactive whiteboard for that so what we'll do is we'll load up our uh, interactive whiteboard software here it is and we're going to pretty much just do a multiplication sum and I'm really just as I said going to do uh, something as I would see it on uh, on a normal interactive whiteboard with a black marker and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to do maybe 23 multiplied by 47. So very similar to what you'd have on your normal whiteboard. I'm not doing anything tricky. Now I could have typed this in and everything else, but uh, you know I, I'm at the whiteboard and I'm just using my pen and just uh, making sure this all works. Okay, so essentially what we need to do is to make this a little bit more uh, more useful to to the child. We we need to start highlighting certain things and changing uh, certain certain things and to make a story basically. So the first thing I want to do is copy this slide and to do that um, you, uh, every interactive whiteboard software I'm using Active Inspire here has a has a section where you can copy a full slide this um, and the Active Inspire is just here on the bottom right and what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my slide and I'm going to duplicate it okay okay so there it is so I'm on slide number two and what I want to show the children first is uh, I want to just highlight and the the number that I'm interested in, I'm going to highlight that in yellow. So this just shows them what I'm interested in. Okay, so that's that step um, started. Then now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply um, as usual seven by three to make twenty one. I'm just going to do it as I would normally. There we go. Uh, we have, you know, the first part. And what I want, what I'm going to do is go back here, and that's a point I would say where a child might say, "I'm stuck. I don't get it." And I'm going to duplicate this slide as well. So we're just going to keep duplicating um, the slide at each point. When we move on to the set, to the next slide, I'm not really interested in working with this uh, 47 highlight highlighted now. So what I can actually do is get rid of the highlight. There you go, by deleting it. And I'm going to highlight the next bit that I'm interested in. So we'll get our highlighter back. And this time I'm interested in the 40. Okay, and what I'm going to do then is I'm actually going to put the 0, which you have to put down to show that you're making 40, just to show the child or the children what we're doing there as well. So again, this is another point in uh, in the equation or in the in the sum. So I'll just du duplicate that. Okay. And what I'll do is I'm going to carry on uh, writing down answers uh, through the slides. I'm sure you um, there's no point in listening to me go through the whole thing. And uh, I'll come back when we've completed the sum and I'll show you the slides I've created. Okay, so I've completed the sum, and basically what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to tell you the five steps and show you the five steps we did so the child can say, okay, I, I can see the point where I'm stuck. So if I go back to slide one, we start off with the sum. You know, if they're stuck there, we're in trouble, but we move on to step two, where we show them we're multiplying by seven. They're probably going to be okay there. Step three, where we look at the 40, and we add the zero, they go, okay, that's another point. This again identifying the next point uh, of the stopping and then the addition part of it. And we've shown 
the five steps really to doing any uh, long multiplication sum there with two digits. So although we're using the interactive whiteboard as a kind of a normal whiteboard, we can always go back to pre we can kind of talk about the history of using the board and moving from slide to slide in order to get that. So I hope that helps in one way um, to showing you a very, very basic way of using an interactive whiteboard as a teaching tool.